Have you ever thought about the gasoline or diesel that we use to power our car engines? Where did they originally come from? I believe all of you would answer fossil fuels. And can you imagine that these fuels can actually be made from bacteria? So my research focuses on turning bacteria into factories that make fuels. The bacteria that I'm working with is called cyanobacteria. See the figure on the upper left corner. This is what they look like in the test tube. Just like plants, these green bacteria produce their own food from carbon dioxide using sunlight as the source of energy. In recent years, cyanobacteria are considered as promising hosts for fuel production because they can directly convert carbon dioxide into fuels. So getting back to that question, how can we turn bacteria into factories that make fuels? In nature, certain living organisms such as plants and bacteria can make compounds that are similar to fuels. But they usually make very small amounts of these compounds, so it is impractical to use these organisms to produce fuels. The reason that these organisms can make fuel molecules is because they have special genes that are responsible for fuel production. So we take the genes from these living organisms and put them into cyanobacteria. This would enable cyanobacteria to generate chemical reactions to transform food into fuels. However, it is not always easy to put a foreign gene from a living organism into another one. Just like a doctor doing transplant surgery, there are potential risks of transplant rejection. Putting a foreign DNA into the bacterial host is the same. The gene may be toxic to the bacteria, so the bacteria may die, or the gene that we put in may not be functional. To solve this issue, I designed DNA switches to control the activity of the gene, so the genes become less toxic to the bacteria. And to further increase the production of fuels, I had to identify the key factors that limit fuel production and use DNA editing technology to reshape the metabolism in the bacteria. The most recent result I got show a seven-fold improvement compared to the reported literature. This demonstrates the potential of using cyanobacteria for fuel production. So we are currently at a moment where the atmospheric CO2 level is at its highest point in human existence. We must do something to reduce the use of fossil fuels in order to reduce the emission of carbon dioxide. And I hope these green little box could be one of the solutions that lead us to where a sustainable future.